Hey game makers, Pixelator Pope here, and I'm trying something new today. Recently, a developer named Boone contacted me on Discord and asked me if I'd be willing to playtest his game that he developed in Game Maker and give him some honest feedback. I'd seen some gifs of his project on Twitter and thought it looked like it could be fun, so I agreed. He recommended I record myself playing the game, and I asked if he'd be okay with it going up on my channel, and he said sure. So here we are. I'll be curious to hear your thoughts on having this sort of content on the channel, so let me know in the comments or on Twitter what you think about this sort of thing showing up every once in a while. Anyway, his project is called Wally and the Fantastic Predators, and I've posted a bunch of links in the description below so you can follow Boone and development of the game if it looks interesting to you. I haven't played this at all, uh, so this is definitely the first time. I basically spun it up to make sure I could get capturing working properly, and that's all I've done. So let's... Uh, Let's try this out. Okay, so uh, immediately, I, I don't know if I want to harp too much on graphical stuff as that is always something that can be changed through polish stages later on in development, but I'll harp where I want to harp. So here we go. Uh, first off, uh, the parallax is wrong. Uh, all trees should be moving in the same direction uh, so if this guy's moving this way, that guy should also be moving that way, not this way. So unless those trees are migrating north for the winter, they should be going the same direction. Uh, and same with the further back. They should just be moving at different speeds. Uh, it's a little disorienting, uh, not having that look correct. Uh, I like the little beams of light. Uh, they, uh, could use some blending on them probably. Uh, but it, it's a cool, like, I like the, the feeling that this, this opening screen gives me. It feels very kind of calming and not too intense or anything. So I kind of know what I'm getting into. At least I think I do. Uh, I, I assume the title is still, uh, not the title itself, but the logo is a work in progress. Uh, obviously orange or like a tan text on a tan background not not the greatest look not a lot of contrast there even with the drop shadow but uh overall i think it looks pretty great i get same thing here like you've got uh te black text on a fairly dark background uh and the the font seems very disjointed from the title and the overall aesthetic it feels very uh, rough uh and incoherent uh but functional uh so let's uh oh, you got a little settings menu let's uh let's go to settings okay okay that's pretty cool i'm uh oh i like the oh i went this time uh i like that i like the idea of breaking uh Oh, see, see, you got the parallax. Yeah, that you got it right here. This all looks good. Uh, uh, but I like that idea of like, I assume this is going to be a, a main game mechanic. And if so, oh man, I'm a big fan of uh, right there, breaking traditional uh, start menu stereotypes. And if this is a main game mechanic, teaching that to the player as soon as they start. That's really cool. Uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, we're going to keep it the way it is now. I assume this is go back. Cool. All right. All right. Let's just uh, mouse driven. So I'm assuming ASDW. So let's just go ahead and get started and see how this goes. Oh, well, hey, that's a good way to. Nice. Oh, okay. I got something. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that like a stamina? Okay, cool. Can I hit the butterfly? Not sure how big a fan I am of the, uh, the whole screen going dark on... Like, it feels like... Like, you got the cool shader thing going on, the the full screen kind of god ray shader. That's cool. I like that it shows me that I'm, like, lights up, but yeah, it was, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so 
Step on that. Okay, that was permanent. Or Oh, does it last a certain amount of time after I get off? Okay, cool. Space. Oh, okay, so I can like roll. That's cool. Cool. Okay, there's coins. What is Direction plus... Okay, a double roll. Cool. I don't know what the D is. Uh, if that's supposed to stand for direction, uh, then I'd rather see some arrows. Uh, but it makes sense. Like I, I figured it out, right? And you got absorb stamina or take stamina, so that's cool. All right, this uh, this should be a different color than the ground, uh, just so like this line is nice, but it feels like I should be able to go up there. Maybe I can later. So can I? Sh okay, nice it hits the wall. Oh, right, I need to double dash through this. Oh, cool. And the game feels really good so far right now. Charge left mouse to deal two damage. Huh. Oh, that's cool. I mean, the, 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 a lot of the, the feedback that you're giving the player is really nice. It's, uh, uh, well, like the hit effect there. Oh, okay. Okay, that's pretty nifty. You get like the kind of pinball. <laughs> okay, no, that's actually really cool. Click mouse left to return your boomerang midair. Okay. I don't know what the advantage of that would be, but I'm sure I'll learn. So the boomerang goes through these, at least it goes through these porcupine enemies. What about you? That, that's awesome. I love I love chain reactions in games. Uh, like, oh, <laughs> that was a nice little uh, hit effect, for sure. Like that that felt really good, even though I was getting exploded. Right. Oh, it feels it feels a little sluggish. As you, and maybe a little slippery as you're moving around. Uh, like it feels really good when you're going fast, but who are you? <laughs> okay, so view the boss's life bar. I just want to stay on a cost for boomerang, adds half a hearth. Damage restores stamina. That's cool. Uh, so I like this too. Uh, this is something that uh, I think was maybe pioneered by like Symphony of the Night. Don't give the player anything for free. Uh, try and make them unlock something, discover something to get something that they might expect to get for free, such as you know, in Symphony of the Night, they had an item for seeing how much damage you were uh, dealing, uh, seeing how much uh, or what enemy you were killing uh, and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool. It's like you don't just get all the options right from the beginning. You have to that they're contextualized within the game. So I really like that. I'm going to pay for it. And then, OK, what's going on here? Is there a sign here for me to read? Blue chests are for club members only. Prove you're a member by destroying every box and enemy. Chest will tell you how many boxes and enemies remain. Okay. Wow, the haters of boxes and enemies. It's a strong stance to take. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, we got more boxes to destroy. And we definitely got more enemies to destroy. That is... That is so cool. Like... I'm, I'm a big fan of kind of this uh, 
when a game has chaos that uh, I already mentioned chain reactions, but there's kind of this controlled chaos where something crazy goes on and maybe the player didn't fully intend to do it, but it happened and it was really cool. And uh, I still feel responsible for the cool thing that happened. And that is, I'm definitely getting that feeling here. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm starting to understand why I'd want my boomerang to come back. Okay. Oh, okay, there's bombs in the box. Awesome. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay, so here's a chest. <laughs> Crap, I can't remember how to bring my uh, uh, my boomerang back. Oh, oh boy. Be mad now. I got it. Oh, I just need to hold down. Le okay. And that'll speed up bringing my... Oh, I guess I missed the box. I like how your boomerang just has like infinite range and it's all about managing not just... Oh! Not just what your boomerang is doing, but... or where it's going, but also how long it's going to be out. Oh, get away, get away. Huh. Charge weapon, then throw. Before it hits its target, left click your mouse. Easy. Did I do it? I did. Okay, let me read that again. Charge weapon, then throw. Before it hits its target, left click your mouse. Okay, so I just need to like... Man, the, the juice, like you've added the juice already and it's it feels really good.
I like how the text box casts a shadow. That's pretty cool. Kind of contextualizes the speech bubble. Any all these butterflies go away. Kind of, I, I, it, it's like they're cute, but the fact that they're following me in kind of a swarm is a bit unsettling. Uh, but I, I like it. It's, it's, it's interesting. Okay, so. Oh, so now my boomer. Now I, now I better remember how to how to get my boomerang back because I, I don't remember. All right. Let's see what's down here. We'll go for a little bit longer. Uh, okay, so we got some dungeons. Like dungeons. Okay, so now this looks kind of procedurally generated, just from the looks of it. Okay, so I can... Oh, okay, so if I... If it hits a wall or something, it won't come back to me, but if I... Okay, that, uh, that particle effect is a little... Well, I'm sure you're aware of that. That's a little weird, but... Oh, man. This is, this is awesome. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, I really like what you've got here. I think it's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, with, with the proper coat of paint. Yeah, this. See if I can remember how to do this again. Cool. Oh, okay. Didn't didn't see that. Wait a minute. Is this a roguelike? It, was that just the tutorial for the roguelike? Because if so, uh, I'm in love. Like, roguelike is definitely my favorite genre right now. And this... Oh. Oh. <laughs> cool boulders travel in large packs whoa okay something's going on like this is this is pretty nutty Oh, wow. Holy crap. This is, this is, oh, very chaotic. I'm assuming this is because I took the, uh, the big scary death thing. Okay, so there's three more boxes and three more hedgehogs that I need to, or three more enemies that I need to kill. Oh, there's some health. Oh, I need that. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Where, where's my boomerang? Okay, there it is. It's down there. It's okay, we got this. All right. Uh, a little bit better uh, indication of that, the fact that I am missing my boomerang uh, would be help. Oh, oh, would be helpful. Because uh, it took me a second to realize what was going on. Oh, boomerang. Man, those boulders are brutal. I love the destructible environments, though. That's really cool. Oh, okay. Boulders. Boulders could use a little bit more. Uh, either move slower or uh, have a little bit of warning. Okay, what am I missing? Am I missing any?
That guy just is just dead. Like it's kind of. Okay, where was that treasure chest? Okay, I'm missing one hedgehog. Okay. Oh, so we've got we've got kind of a. Uh, uh, got kind of a ghost from uh, Spelunky. Roll into porcupine bonds for speed. Oh, fire hurts. Fire bad. Okay. Could you not, skeleton? Oh, apple, apple, apple. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't get that until just now. So if I... The boomerang will keep going, but if I click right as it hits something, then it comes right back to me. Okay, that's cool. That's... I like that little added bit of skill. Like, because I was making... I was doing okay uh, without knowing that or without realizing that, I guess. You already taught me. I just didn't pay attention. Uh... uh Oh man, this is cool. Oh. oh, and I can choose when it comes back because if I let it go through an enemy and then hit the next enemy, that. That's cool. Boom, there's my last box. Now where was that treasure chest? I wanna say it was down here somewhere. Maybe up here in the corner. Oh great, I don't remember where the treasure chest was. There it is. level up three upgrades to choose from one time use item attraction is four times further points to the secret exit exit may be hidden under a rock okay I didn't even know there were secret exits so let's go I will continue to live in uh, I'll continue to not know where the secret exits are for now Oh, that's a big guy. Got him. Nice. Music feels maybe a bit somber uh, for what I'm doing. Like, because I'm having a lot of fun. This feels very uh, kind of like. I don't know. I, I would I would expect a oh, fire fire bad. I learned that already. I expect a little bit happier music, a little bit more just like fun adventury music. Uh, oh, no. Thank you. That was crazy. That was so cool. You've put so much polish into this already. It's amazing, actually. Okay, not really sure where to go. Oh, I guess I'm done.
inflatable muscles. Everyone deals double damage and knockback. Oh, okay, so each each floor can have little modifiers to it. Okay, eleven and nine. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, apple. Chess. That's so cool. Like, it just feels really good to play. I think if you could find something to kind of make the exploration part of it a little bit more interesting, like when I'm just kind of wandering around looking for enemies, it gets a little dull. Uh, I don't know, maybe you already have plans for that. I'm honestly not even sure what to suggest because I'm just kind of, I guess, I guess telling me when I'm ready to go to the next floor, when this chest is actually ready, would be helpful. Uh, uh, okay, bosses deal half damage. Oh, okay, so I can upgrade my... I kind of want to get to the next boss before we before we call it, because I'm having a lot of fun. I, I honestly only expected to play this for like 10 minutes and give you my genuine feedback and be done with it, but uh, now I want to kind of go until I die or until I beat it. That might... I don't know how long this is, so... I like that the upgrades aren't just, I mean, you've got a few percentage-based improvements, like 15% movement speed and stuff like that, but adding new features and new, and things that actually change uh, uh, how the game, how the player approaches the game is really cool. Oh, cool. Extra heart. And I'm going to steal this from you, sir. Oh, okay. I assume there's a key that I could have, what do you got? All right, boomerang charges and slices, uh, flies faster. That's cool. Iron shoes. That's not bad. That seems like a good investment. Can I buy multiple? Oh, okay. Uh, so maybe let me buy a couple of things before kicking me out of the store then. Let's take iron shoes. What else you got? Okay, we can get that, but I think I'm all right. All right, so we'll, we'll call it after this boss, whether I win or lose. That's a dragon with his ordnance back. Do I have to fight it? I guess violence is the only way to proceed. I was going to try to do a whole uh, mouse in the line with the thorn of it in its paw, but uh, let's see if maybe I can knock that sword out with the boomerang. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is going to get a lot harder once those... Oh. 
Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Oh. Oh, what? Ah. Okay, no, that, that was intense. That was really cool. So yeah, this game is awesome. Uh, if you, I don't know if you've got this demo available somewhere, but if it's available, you should tweet out about it and I'll retweet it because everybody should try this. This is cool. Uh, I don't see too much that's just like, I don't like it at all, and I think I covered that as I was going through it. Uh, just more polish, more variety, more, you know, things you expect from a roguelike, and you got a winner on your hands. This is a blast. Uh, so, bravo. Uh, I mean, I think it speaks volumes that I intended for this to be about a 10-minute video, and I've been recording for about 30 minutes now. So, well done. Uh, I'm really excited to see... Uh, how you can continue to progress on this and uh thanks for letting me play it and show it to uh the peeps on youtube so i guess that's it for now uh thanks for watching now uh go keep making something awesome